Not sure if this city has a high Hawaiian population, but it's all Hawaiian that are serving. Very good food. It's a religious denomination, probably Christian. So this luau was supposed to be a dedication for a hundred years of uh, this uh, town being, um, you know, recognized. So it's pretty neat. What in the world is this thing? Stack cruiser? I have never seen anything like this. Oh, it's for hay, I see. There's some hay pieces. Weird. It's just so gorgeous out here. I really think it's neat. I'd kind of rather see woods, but a nice open prairie that's quiet is pretty cool too. Oh my god, I think they're on top of that, I think they're on top of that electrical pole, <laughs> they sound, their voice, their sound travels so far. Probably doesn't pick up. Alright, so you can see that freshly mowed hay. And it looks like it's mostly alfalfa and it won't take long to dry out here as dry as it is. Something that this thing had to do with irrigation or something. I'm not sure what a, what else they would use it for. Just kind of laying on the field next to this hole. Alright, I'm guessing all this stuff has something to do with controlling the water pressure, maybe. Because they got a major watering operation around here. It has a little hose there. So, uh, I don't know what's in those buckets. They mix something in there. 480 volts. There are a lot of honeybees on these type of flowers. You can see. So there must be a beehive not far from here. I think these are the uh, the lazy um, Italian bees because they're lighter in color. They're not like those aggressive dark colored ones. 
But it's got a good scent, this flower, whatever it is. Alright, so not too far from those flowers, here are the, the beehives. I can see the bees going nuts, doing all their work. Tenant and ouch! Oh, I just, alright, that's a loose barbed wire. Tenant and Sons, Gooding, Idaho, and their phone number. Because they got them right out, um, practically on the side of the road. And you could just pull right up back there and grab them with a forklift. Um, so yeah, you want to put your identification on them. Not far from the beehive, I think this is called a gulch. What well, used to be like a stream and has the potential to be a stream again. I'm on probably a bridge that has uh, weight limits, I was surprised, for trucks. There's a sign showing like weight limits, I think. So it might not be the best type of bridge. And then there's cows off in the distance. Some pretty thick ones. There's some big beasts over there, but they're gonna run. They're gonna run when I get close enough. They're most likely not human friendly. Yep, there they go. Run for your lives, that's a big one. Such a gigantic stomach. What a big stomach on that guy. But there's other ones with stomachs that large. I don't know if that's an advantage for the breed or what. Old man saw me walking my bicycle and asked me if I was taking it for a walk. He has a four-wheeler on the back. And I could see him off in the distance. Uh, I have no idea what he's doing. Looks like he's walking right now. I must have parked. Checking things out. So it looks like you can bring a boat out to the reservoir. And I think I see animals out there. And I smell a lot of poop. I think I do. So what kind of reservoir is this? Usually they protect reservoirs. This sucker has gotten very low because there's a dock over there that goes just to dry land. So this definitely experiences ups and downs. Alright, so there's your warnings. <laughs> oh, just when I was about to jump in and have a swim. Date posted 8-12-2016, so that's not too long ago. There is a sign of algae. I wonder if there's fish. Is that, is that, oh, there's poop in there. Possibly from the, the cows. What kind of reservoir is this? Do they try to, like, kill off the fish? Is that what makes a reservoir? There must be certain criteria uh, for a body of water to meet to be able to qualify as a reservoir. Not sure what that is. You know, I'm used to being, to seeing the high and low tides from the ocean uh, that affect the docks. And uh, this, this is different. Just kind of an old dock that um, this reservoir has gone down so low that they don't bother even repairing this thing anymore since it's hasn't probably hasn't been in use for, for, for I'd say years. Well, that old man started yelling at the cows across the re from the reservoir here. He's like trying to get him to move or something. I don't know why. Now he's driving off in the, the opposite way. This sort of looks like a bathroom, but it's been largely abandoned. You can see bullet marks on the side. People shot at it. And I saw a wasp go in. There's, there's swallows that have nested here. I saw a wasp enter in the corner, so... It, only one, though, so it can't be a big nest. Flies. Nothing else. And there's the bathroom. Uh, I don't quite see that wasp nest. Oh, they're right on the door. I don't know what the deal with that is. But, uh, yeah, it's, you could use that bathroom, I guess. Okay, now there's a man on a horse that's attending to those cows. He's, he's moving away. There's a guy on a four-wheeler and a guy on a horse. It's kind of an odd bathroom. They got a pavement for 
uh, handicap parking. <laughs> they even put this little space here for the wheelchair. This bathroom is barely used by evidence by all this, all this swallow uh, nesting. I'm a little scared to look inside. They could lock it. That's a modern lock. Oh. Okay. All right. Looks okay. Just a hole in the ground. Uh, yeah. So it's got a few visitors in here, but not enough to scare off the swallows. But swallows are generally pretty friendly anyway. There's like three bathrooms on this uh, reservoir. Yeah, so those geese keep a very wide distance between me and them. They really freaked out from a long distance. It's probably evidence of hunting activity. <clears throat> They've learned. And it looks like people camp out here. Not too often. There's not much to burn out here. It's hard to find firewood. You have to bring it yourself. Because I don't see a single tree anywhere from this location. Not a single one. So a lot of sagebrush out here, but you don't see too much of it going, getting closer to the, the town. It smells really good. Yeah, if only I had a bee suit, I could get a closer look and see what all their activities playing out for them. And that cow isn't so much of a threat to them, but he's fenced off away from the, the beehives. And they're on pallets, so they have to use some kind of a pallet jack to move them.